Hello guys, so here we are as promised with a video that shows how to use Logic Pro with uh, reroute. So let's and control independently different MIDI channels uh, with different sets within a reroute. So let, let's start from here. I have uh, this preset inside reroute where I have on the left one glove connected as you can see and I have all of my parameters set to go to channel 1 this is very important first step so you want to have this side of reroute to be all on channel 1 so both here gotta be 1 here gotta be 1 and 2 for all of the pads gotta be number 1 all right then on the other side for glove number 2 that is connected as well you want to have everything on MIDI channel number 2 so same thing but on number 2 for both the air modulation and the pads this is very very important so step number 1 is done then at this point we go into Logic Pro here it's not really super easy but actually once it works it's uh, it's really really cool so we create a new project where we have two MIDI channels what do we do first thing we go see the MIDI environment right here what you have to do first thing you go top on the left and instead of the mixer you want to see what is going on on click and ports so here it's basically telling you which are the MIDI signals that are getting to Logic. So you want to get rid of everything you have in here because it, it's not really helpful. It would be just a, a little bit more a mess. So let you just have to keep this first thing here on the left that is seeing that you have the IAC bus on. The MIDI clock stays there and the sequencer input. So what you have to do you have to create two transformers so one and two you create both just by going here on new and click on transformer then go here click and drag and create a connection between that input the first transformer and then bring the first transformer to the sequencer input then same thing bring the connection to the second transformer and then its output to the sequencer input. Double click on the first transformer and you want to let him know that all the data that comes through that transformer when they're e equal to channel MIDI channel 1 they need to go only into MIDI channel 1 and this is the first transformer. Transformer number 2 you want it, you want, you want it to know that everything that goes it comes from channel 2 has to go into MIDI channel 2 so basically I have two transformers one that says everything that comes from the MIDI channel 1 goes to MIDI channel 1 and the other one everything that comes from MIDI channel 2 goes to MIDI channel 2 so here it's pretty much everything done but one last step then we should be good to go you want to see the mixer so select the channel number one, the first, uh, the first one of the two you have created and tell this guy that he needs to read only the, the MIDI signals coming from MIDI channel one. Then select channel two and tell him to read only the messages coming from channel number two. So at this point, to make it easy to understand, we just change the sound one very important detail right here before being actually set you have to go here file project settings recording and logic has to have this little feature on so auto demix by channel if multi-track recording is on so basically this means that you can have two mixer channels on recording mode at the same time and they and they will be reading separate signals at a time so right now it should be all good so I'm 
sending signals to the glove on the right, so the number two. And as you can see, signals on all are only going to like always it didn't work let me check again ah yeah we need to tell this guy again to do what he just decided he didn't want to do so one and two here so they both need need to have these little thing that says channel 1, channel 2. So now signals going on channel 1 are going only on channel 1 as you can see and then signals going to channel 2 are only going to channel 2. But remember that both need to have the little R on. Okay, so I hope these make things a little bit clearer and uh, feel free to text me and email me, email me if anything is not really clear. Thank you guys.